If someone explained to me of why that this house, my Pinterest house, with all the basic shapes, structures, and stuff I've done with this place, this place only costs 200k, like, huh? What? I'm so confused, honestly. Hey race fans, what's up? It's Race here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, everyone. You guys notice I have my hand going through a pillow, so that is, um, yeah, that's cool. Basically today we're back here in the Blocks by Pinterest challenge, and this video is going to be the little study area and the garage. Now, for the people that didn't catch into last time or the people that are new to the channel, I do this challenge called the Blocks by Pinterest challenge, where basically each room in the house is based off a picture from Pinterest. This series is based off like modern farmhousey style, but I will obviously be doing like this series again in like a different style, like cottage core, suburban, modern. Although we know I'm not a modern builder. But anyway, so this is kind of what we have for the living room that we did last time. It's kind of like the photo not really i oh that wall is not the same color oh dear then i also made this little dining area and for the people that actually were watching i did add a like a little shelf right here and these two paintings because i just felt like it was missing something on this wall anyways today is all about this part of the build this part right here where the stairway is is gonna be like it's only like study and then in here we're actually gonna have the little garage which actually is kind of big I kind of underestimate how like big this garage is and then this little room over here is going to be the first bedroom but that will be next episode because i don't want to do a bedroom in like like a short like garage and study video no thank you i also forgot to mention to you guys that during the time off i actually did a add like a little new like little like archway to kind of match the photo from last time and this archway leads into the basement which we're gonna have a basement um, obviously we're gonna have a basement here it's gonna have another bathroom like as you can see right here i'm not sure if i'm gonna make this a double door or just like an archway but this might become either a gym or another bedroom i don't know yeah we're gonna have a big basement <laughs> oh my goodness i don't really do basements in my build so kind of a shocker Oh, and by the way, I also did add a tree and some other hedges on the outside. I just felt like it looked bland and I wanted to add something there. So that's what I did. <laughs> Anyways, on to build mode. If you're wondering if the audio quality in this video is going to get better, um, it's not. I don't know why it just decided, you know what? We're going to be um, echoey today. Yeah, sorry about that. But basically, we're going to be working on this side and this side in the video today. So let's first start with the office area. All right, so here we are on Pinterest, as you can see, all like the stuff I have looked up. It's a lot of like building stuff and occasionally weird meme. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> anyway, so what I usually do is I look up what room we have and then modern farmhouse. So today we're going to be looking up study modern farmhouse. I just realized I did that in all caps, whatever. All right, let's see what we get for this area. That's not a study. That's uh, that's a study. <gasps> she kind of cute. Oh, look at this one. <gasps> oh, look at this one down here. Oh, I wish I could have gotten that or that one. Oh, that's been great. Oh, whatever. It's fine. We'll just save this image to my computer. All right. And then I have the image loaded up on the other screen. I'm fine. So let's just get building. This room has like a lot of like browns. Now, how do I put the desk? Because like it looks like it's in the middle of the room. I know you guys might be saying, Race, you should do a custom carpet. <laughs> no, thank you. I will be using a bath mat as our carpet. I feel like the fancy part of this office is going to be that there's like a fireplace in your office and that would be a win in my books. And now for the desk, I don't really know which one we can use. For me personally, it looks a lot like this direct office desk, which I might use. I mean, it looks okay, I guess. Now the type of wood they have is like this triangle type of wood, which is going to be also linen, of course. Well, anyways, how is everyone doing today? As I am recording this, I have a stomach ache. So if I sound all groany in the background, uh, don't mind that. You know, I'm actually questioning about putting it this way so you can kind of the background area. I might question about doing that. I mean, here you'll have like the full view. I mean, hold on. Let me just like scooch this whole thing around. I mean, this might be like completely like <laughs> weird to have this like all the way over here. I mean, I think that might work. It looks like they use like something like this here, which actually might be perfect. Um, you're probably wondering what I'm doing right now. And I'm trying to like make that, that center ottoman type of thing. Like it's in the center of the room. It seems very oddly placed, honestly. Like I, I, I wouldn't personally do that in my office. Okay, this is what we got. Okay, we're gonna bring it back over here. Oh, it matches perfectly with the carpet. I have to paint it lily white. <laughs> It clearly says institutional white. Why and how did I say lily white? Oh my goodness, I can't see anything. In like a different texture. I might just make it like the carpet. That actually looks not too bad actually. I don't hate that. 
There are a lot of things here that I'm probably just gonna like use like blocks for alternative stuff. For example, that clock right there. Yeah, we don't have that. I'm gonna have to go with the next best object. This little pathetic looking alarm clock. <laughs> oh dear. Also, I know this is like early into the video, but I think I might already have the question of the day. And I'm just very quick with it. I'm just like a very quick thinker about this type of stuff. What are your decorating steps? And what I mean by that is like, what are the steps it takes you to decorate stuff? Like, do you usually just place everything down and then color it? Or do you usually like color stuff as it goes on? I personally just like wait till everything's like done and colored. I know I didn't do that here, but um, we don't have to talk about that, okay? I'm trying to find like an alternative thing for like the thing on the thing. But I can't think of stuff right now. Should we do a toilet plunger? <laughs> oh no, no, we shouldn't, no. Coming here for good content, you'll get good content. I'm honestly thinking just putting like another vase right here and just calling it that. Now it's a bummer because like the paintings that they have are like these modern paintings, but the modern paintings are so big in Bloxburg. Also, if y'all get mad at me for making all these like books just completely white, it's not my fault. I did not have the choice of making that that color. I'm probably gonna put like the foil type of like texture as the base as of the, the chair. Thinking that because that's what looks like the metal besides the actual metal thing. Now this thing is like gold right here, I just realized. And I'm questioning if we should make this also like foil. Maybe I'll just make it like a nice like muted like beige. Okay, I'm gonna quickly add some wall trims in here because I can definitely say wall trims on the bottom. And I know this isn't obviously there, but I'm gonna put this anyway. I'm gonna put wall trims up there. And I also see like this little vent right here that I'm gonna put those right there. I'm probably gonna try and find like a little table that we can put in there. My only solution might be the hairpin one. I mean, it doesn't stick through and it kind of looks really good. Hmm, I'm getting ideas. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. That just looks too good to be true too good. I don't know if there's anything else I want to add. Like stuff that's like not near there. I might just place like a little like sofa here if you want to like sit by there and like read. Obviously making it look a lot better with the transform plus tool. And then finally we're just going to add some lighting because this place <laughs> needs light. Okay and that is like the office area done. I'm kind of loving it. I might do one thing which might be kind of cheating but I mean hey you cannot see in the photo so I'm thinking I can do it. I'm gonna place one of the, like these little like track lights underneath the carpet just to add some extra lighting. That's like a little tip if you want to add like extra lighting just use one of those like little lights and then it'll just like kind of cover it up. I want to incorporate like that painting that they have right there. I would just like place a painting right there. And we'll just call it a day. Okay, you know, I'm gonna move on to the garage because I don't wanna keep making decisions about what and what not to do. Okay, so that turned out pretty cute and I'm kind of excited what we can do with the garage. And then we're gonna look up garage for the modern farmhouse and let's see what we get. <gasps> oh, these are all exteriors. There's no interior, wait, hold on. I mean, kind of, it kind of looks like it's be a garage. Actually, let's be real, it is a garage. You can clearly see the garage doors and you can see the pavement. This is the garage. It doesn't look too bad. I'm actually in love with it. Looks like they have like a white wallpaper. So we'll also be adding that into our garage. I'm trying to see if I can like squish this a little bit more so we can have like face, I don't know. So if we place this like little table like right here, kind of going to the wall, and then we place this like modern wardrobe, it kind of looks like what they have. Yeah, I'll just place two of them because um we're fancy. And I can just put like the tall like shaker counters on top. Okay, I'm gonna like double up like those right there, but that's completely fine. I don't really mind that. Now this is not gonna look exactly like the photo, but I mean, hey, I don't want this to be like blank or anything. Now for the first time, we're actually not gonna be using my classic color. Instead, we're gonna be using like this dark colorish. That didn't make make any sense. I don't care though. And then we can just place like a basic shape and like use this as the black splash that sits there. And I'm thinking honestly, we might not go for this one, but we actually might go for like this one, possibly. I mean, okay, let's scooch it back really quickly and let's check out and see how it looks. Okay, so that's that one there. And then that's that wood one. Yeah, no, I lied. I'm doing the wood one. <laughs> you can't stop me. I am not stopping. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use like the structurals. Specifically this like standard beam and I'm gonna like try and make the design that's going along those cabinet type of things Or at least for me in Bloxburg, this is a wardrobe. Also, I, I do have another question This is obviously another question of the day because we already did that. Why do you guys like this series so much? It's because like you normally don't see someone build like a whole entire actual house based off of like certain Pinterest photos I mean, I'm just gonna say this also. I 100% am not sure if someone actually already did this 
And if someone's already done this idea, I'm sorry, I'm taking your idea and using it as my own. And they also have some lighting, which is on the top of the cabinet. You can't do that on Bloxburg, so I'm going to do the next best thing. And just put it under here. I think it just looks pretty cool. I think for just over here, I'm probably just going to put like a little shelf. And by a little shelf, I mean like a big shelf. Okay, that is what that is looking like. Now I'm going to do a little thing that I was really excited about before, which is using the gas can. I mean, that just adds a little bit more detail to the build, which I actually like. We might as well just place the trash can and the recycling can in here while we're at it. I feel like I was always the only person that did this in Bloxburg, which is like to put these two cans in here. I don't know why, but I like never saw anyone else do it. And now for the rest of the lighting in here, I'm just going to add my little lights. I obviously know for a fact that I'm not done. That's like the main type of thing. I'm just gonna find like some like little things just like clutter these little parts with. Maybe like a little shovel and pail can also go up here just for like a little bit of fun. Because that's cool. That made no sense. What am I talking about? <laughs> and I think the final thing we should just add in here is a fire extinguisher. Just in case if this amazing place goes up in flames. If it does, then I will cry. I'm not, I'm not joking. I will literally like cry. I spent so hard in this place. I don't want to lose it. <laughs> and that is those two rooms basically done. So here we are with the main house, obviously. So let's go through the garage as like, you know, we're getting home. You know, we're going through and wow. Oh, the shelf's still more empty than I thought now. But I mean, let's be real. It's a garage. So I mean, like, what are you really going to have in here? Plants? <laughs> No. And then we go over here to the office. <gasps> Love it. It's so cute. Look at it. And especially it's like a little like fireplace over here. Like imagine you're just working. You're like, oh, look outside. It's snowing. And you just have a nice fireplace toasting. And then in the room over you probably have like your husband watching football. Or your kids watching Cocoa Melon. <laughs> but overall, I think that these rooms definitely look a lot like the photos. I feel like I could definitely probably done a little bit more of the garage, but um, that's more of like off camera me's work to do. All right, anyways, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Next episode here in the Blocks of Pinterest Challenge is going to be big. We're going to have bedrooms, some more bathrooms, an office. Wait, we already have an office. Maybe in a laundry room then. But anyways, everyone, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you all so, so much. Stay awesome, stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next video, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs>